Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Adamley, and for the next hour, I will be your host for this happening, which in essence is a series of 11 rather unconventional yet very demanding tests of strength. The powerful men that have gathered here, they'll be vying for the British Meat Trophy, and they represent a cross-section of athletes, American football players, world-class weightlifters, as well as high-caliber track and field athletes. Let's meet the competitors right now. From Colorado in the United States, 28-year-old Jerry Hannon at 6 feet 1 half inch, an Olympic weightlifter weighing 24 stone 8 pounds. At 20 stone 2 pounds, a shot put champion from New York. Standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, Joe Zelizniak. From Buffalo, New York, an American football player, 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing 20 stone 4 pounds, Craig Wolfley from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Holder of the title, Britain's strongest man in third place here last year. Former Olympic shot putter from Lincolnshire at six foot, six inches tall, weighing 22 stone, 12 pounds, Jeff Capes. The strongest man in California at six foot, three inches tall, weighing 29 stone, five pounds, a super heavyweight power lifter, Derwin Piper. From Denver, Colorado in the United States, another American football player, Keith Bishop, six feet, two inches tall, weighing 20 stones, three pounds. The man with the strongest legs in the world, super heavyweight power lifter Dave Waddington, just six feet tall, but look at that weight, 23 stones, three pounds. And last year's defending champion, the powerful Bill Kazmaier, weighing in at 23 stone, five pounds, six feet, two inches tall, he is the man to beat. From Holland, a giant super heavyweight power lifter, six feet, one inches tall, weighing 28 stones, six pounds, Stago Pisco. 27-year-old Bishop Dolagavich, an outstanding track and field athlete from Canada, weighing in at 22 stones, he finished fourth a year ago. The first event is called the log lift. The weight of this particular log, 312 pounds, or if you're metrically minded, approximately 141 kilograms. Bishop Dolagavich is the only man who has failed to negotiate this weight. This is Keith Bishop. Keith rolls it to his chest. Now hoping for a big explosion. He's got it up, but not enough. So Keith Bishop drops out of the competition at 312 pounds. Craig Wolfley up next, the American football player for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Rolls it to his chest. Locks out the arms and he has recorded a good lift. This is Jerry Hannon. Power lifting is his specialty and as you can see, 312 pounds, no problem at all. This is the heaviest man in the competition, Derwin Piper, California power lifter. <laughs> Come on, Derwin, he's got it. And now, Dave Waddington, another power lifter. This event requires a great deal of synchronization between the hips, lower back, and of course the upper body. Waddington, very strong, 312 pounds. This is the defending champion, Bill Kazma. Very easy, 312 pounds. And now Britain's strongest man, Jeff Capes. Come on, Jeff. Much more cumbersome than an Olympic bar. Capes will try it one more time. 312 pounds and no way. I thought it might go up that third time. You better judge than I am. No, it's pretty, pretty hot now. Uh, I'm a bit tall for this. But no, no real body weight compared to the 400 guys, but uh, I tried. Did you expect to do a little bit better? No. That's about it. Go. Give him some
Now it's the Dutch powerhouse's turn, Stago Pisco. Remember the log weighs 312 pounds. He must press it over his head. Big explosive move, Stago Pisco lifts 312 pounds. He was also able to lift 340 pounds, but at that weight, we lost Derwin Piper and Dave Waddington. Okay. Four competitors are left in the competition. This 340-pound log is having 20 extra pounds added to it, 360 pounds. The man who can lift this will have a record, a new record in this event. First to get a crack at 360 pounds, the American football player, Craig Wolfley. You can see the weight belt he's wearing around his waist to protect his lower back. Looking for a big explosion. Wolfley, 360 pounds. It doesn't go. A little tougher than leading Frank O'Hara's on a sweep, huh? Most definitely, most definitely. I have to leave it to the big boys now. Okay, you got a 340-pound total towards your credit, so uh, you're sitting pretty well in this competition. Well, we're trying, you know. Uh, I heard there was free dinner up here, so I just came up to see if I could, you know, get out of here. So. Well, Jerry Hannon is looking for more than the free dinner. Come on, Jerry. He wants to make 360 pounds with the equivalent of approximately 163 kilograms. Hannon expending an awful lot of energy just keeping that log at his chest, and he can't get it up. Here's the hammer. Sure looks like you had a little bit of problem with your hamstring, huh? No, well, it's sort of in there in the groin somewhere. Couldn't well, breathe. I was getting real dizzy. Go for it, come on. The picture of concentration. The defending champion, Bill Kazmaier. This is his attempt at 360 pounds. Oh, -ho! unbelievable strength. He lifts it like a toothpick. Come on, let's go, let's go. And so the stage is set for Stago Pisco, the Dutch super heavyweight. He needs to make this lift to stay in the competition. 360 pounds. Looking for one big explosion, and he can't do it. So Bill Kazmaier wins the log lift. That's it. Bill, congratulations. You said that you were not going to go for a record unless you were pressed. These guys push it to the limit today, huh? They sure did. They're really good overhead pressers. I was surprised by Hannah and the guy from Belgium. They're good. The winning form of the massive Bill Kazmaier in the log lift. And as you can see from this graphic, points are awarded based on the order of finish. Ten points for first and so on. Craig Wolfley, Jerry Hannon, Stago Pisco all shared second place, so they each received eight points.